Good morning. This is John Phillips. It is the 3rd of January, 2023. Wow. Can you imagine that? Fucking time flies, man. It seems like just yesterday we were worried about the whole world collapsing on uh, the year 2000. You know, with all the computer shit. It didn't happen. But uh, anyways, it's going to be a great year. Uh, I'm going to, I've decided to buy some new tools. I actually looked into a pro press last night. And uh, I saw how much they are and that kind of made the decision for me that I'm not going to buy one of them. Uh, the fittings are more expensive. The, to get a get a complete set you're looking at four or five thousand dollars are you kidding me I could buy ten solder rigs for half of that or less so uh, no pro press for Johnny but I am gonna buy a um, I'm gonna stop in over here at Walgreens and I'm gonna buy a nostril hair trimmer because it's really a distraction. I know for some of you people probably pick up on the fact that I have more hair coming out of my, especially my left nostril for some reason, seems to be more fertile ground than my right nostril. Either that or I'm just better at ripping them out uh, with my right hand. I don't know. What I used to do is just take a Bic lighter and fill my nostril up with butane and light it. And that takes care of them, man, real quick. You get a little flame shooting out of your fucking nose, but it works, man. Little tech tip for the day. Air here, same thing, man. Use a lighter. Fuck it, just kind of wave it around the side of your head. Sometimes you go a little deep. You get, get a little hair. You know, you may start a little fire on the side of your head, but just tamp it out. And you'll be no worse for the wear. My first job today is a guy called me, he said that his, uh, it's a rental property. I've worked here, this is where the, the uh, laundry tub from hell was. Uh, shower valve, I guess, in one of the bathrooms, it's a two bath house. The shower valve's loose in the wall, never really got strapped. So I need to, uh, and it's, it needs a cartridge, so they're really yanking on it to turn it on. So I'm gonna go uh, see what I can do and get this thing secured in the wall and uh, change out the cartridge. That's my first job, and then I've gotta go. Some guy called me with multiple issues with hot water. He's got Delta shower valves, which I, I really don't like working on them with the, plat with the nose cone and the pressure balance mechanism they're pretty hard to get out down here I don't know if you guys experience that in other parts of the country but the water conditions down here can be pretty aggressive and uh, they just don't want to come out they can really be a bear and then you got the added uh, problem of that nose cone nut that holds the cartridge in I've got a tool which maybe I'll use that today to show you how how it works and how it gets those uh, cartridges those that nut off without damaging the valve body. Uh, but that's the plan today. I got to uh, get something in my stomach. And my my New Year's resolution to myself is be kind to myself. Like. Uh, gotta be kind to myself man I haven't really been kind to myself over the course of my life so it's my New Year's resolution happy New Year to everybody I wish you the best prosper get it moving keep working share your knowledge and uh, have a great year man see what we can get into this year <laughs> all right so there you go that's the 
Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of that. That's no biggie. Not a big deal. Okay, <clears throat> so we got an old Moen Chateau. <clears throat> you can see it's loose. Wasn't strapped. So I've got a fix for that. We gotta put a new cartridge in because it's frozen. That's probably why that thing got yanked off the wall, but uh We'll get it fixed up. I'm just gonna shut the water off. No, 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 I've, I've got it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the water off to the whole house, okay? All right, I'll let you be. All right, guys, so what we got here is an old Moen Chateau shower faucet that's not fastened in the wall. Uh, I'm gonna take this trim off and uh, Probably just put a new whole trim on this because it's old and the handle, the cost of just the handle isn't really worth it. <clears throat> so. You know this is old when they're straight slotted. So this guy, he's a, uh, were you a plumber? That was your trade? Yeah. Good for you, my friend. No, I did it for like, well, I actually, I was a um, director of maintenance at a nursing home for 15 years. And uh -huh. I, from there, I went and worked for a plumber for, about, for two years. And I decided I, after they all I could end up doing was unplugging toilets and. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Can you open that lab valve in there? No, oh, no, 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 we're good. I, I bled the pressure off outside, actually. These things can be tough to just get these off sometimes. Okay. All right, let me, uh, let me get in there and grab my cartridge puller and a pick. turn it a couple times no I don't when I when you turn it it really uh, it what happens is it uh, those uh, rubbers get caught yeah. I've, I've found that it's easier for me to just pull it straight yeah. out and I don't have half the problems okay. yeah. yeah they can be a bear sometimes you know. Okay, 
remember Mike Fuller doing that. Oh, no? Might be doing wrong. Yeah. Like I said, it can be a bear, but I just want to grab that. Yeah. Yeah, this one doesn't want to come out. Hook it there and I'm just going to stick it up here. That's fine. I don't know if this thing's going to go wonky on me. left one in there. There's one rubber that's in that's there. In there yeah. Get a book in there and see if I can find it. <laughs> Not see that that gasket's in there, which is really strange. It's just not in there. Wow. So this cartridge was in with just one, one of those gaskets. Well, that's what it appears to me. And then this is, this is missing. Like, I, I can't see all those parts, so, I don't know. You sure you didn't try this on your own, sir? You're a plumber. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing telltale uh, signs that uh, somebody was here I before me. I want to tell you something. I decided this is one year, I'm not bringing a single tool with me. Okay. I'm going to trust you. Listen, I'm going to go out, and I'm going to turn the water on, because I need to know where that plastic, that rubber went. That little piece was the piece that was on the other card, the other side, and uh, yeah, it's just not in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean that out with a wire brush. You're not sick, are you, bud? Just a hack of the cough. Okay, you don't have like COVID or anything, right? Nope. Didn't test you for that. Okay.
hold that light up again, sir? very hard for me to like really strap this because the backing's not visible mm -hmm. and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bar clamp on like that I'll keep it up so it's not touching any of the brass Yeah, some guys back in the day, they it was standard practice not to back these, which is crazy. Yeah. But uh, uh, when you pull and push to open and shut. Yeah. I uh, I was talking uh, to another fellow that lives in this area last night. He said theirs does the same thing, it goes in and out. So yeah. Well, usually it's the same it's, contractor, yeah. and they do things a certain way, yeah, and so that's what you get. That, that way from the beginning. Oh, yeah. It very well could be. Well, the lady, one of these days, something's going to bust off in someone's hand. Yeah. So these things are always a challenge to do. I'm going to, you can put that light away because it's blinding me. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to just try to use this in here. Get some long. Okay, so I need to grab that. Yeah, can you just hold this light right there, I'm sir? No, can I hold it a steady screws on that face plate it should be good so let me uh, put the new cartridge in I'll grease that guy up all right Not for me. If you're mature, it's not for you. You know? I'm going to give you one more chance to fess up to trying to do this yourself. <laughs> Come on. And you're going to have to just take my word. Okay. Because I didn't touch it. 
other than to try and make it very usable. Okay, I, I believe you. No, I don't know what would be any good to pull that uh, uh, shower head off to and flush it. You let mean? go of one because it, if it could have went up hill instead of yeah, that's the only other thing I can. What could have went down into that tub? This is a tub and yeah, a shower. Is, it, is that on the exact opposite side? Yeah. <sighs> Bad lighting. Uh, hold it again if you want. No, that's it. Yep. All right, let me push this cartridge in and I'll go turn the water on. Oh shit. I was taping that whole time. And the Emmy for worst filming on a short film goes to John Phillips Plumbing. Yeah, that's in the right spot, so I'm getting this stuff out of here. Fix it themselves. Hey. Yeah, this these these units aren't cheap. Um, would you? I need to ask you. You, know, you want to take switch that with the tub shower head over in the other? My daughter is handicapped and she uses the tub over there. Okay. And she could really use a uh, handheld. The problem is that this handheld only goes on this. Uh, this bracket, which we're going to end up with holes oh, in the top. Right. Yeah, they do sell different styles I where. find a different. Yeah. Thing. Yep, and they're easy enough to put on. So. Okay. Jeez. Let's tighten it's tight here, man.
want to get the hot water over here and make sure that that's good. No bricks. And that's getting warm. The little notch on the top of the stem needs to be up for it to be in the right position. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get this new trim and hopefully it's going to work on this particular shower valve. is going to do the trick. Yeah. It should. Yeah, that's going to work. So that bar, it has rubber rubber between it and the copper. So there's no chance of uh electrolysis or rotten anything out and really it's just a to me like a good fix for that yeah it's good um, get a new handle I'm gonna try on this on this place when I work here. I'm gonna, you know, keep it cheap, but as I go through, kind of update it. You know what I mean? Yeah. The other day I put a new laundry tub faucet in for them. The other one was really in bad condition, and I wasn't gonna just uh, fix it. It's not worth tearing them apart and putting new. Whoa. You have to get this washer guys on a crystal handle this crystal will ride up over the shoulders on that stem if you don't put this gap this uh, washer on that's how you end up with a with a handle that spins or cracks down at the base Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and dap this in, guys. And what this does is this is going to be an added dimension of, of uh, support to hold this thing where it needs to be. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It ain't easy being cheesy. The old saying goes. My old saying is it looks good from Oneyville. Oneyville's a town in Rhode Island. And 
And that was our old saying. Mm -hmm. for this neighborhood. So, uh, let me ask you, what am I gonna do here? Are you a farmer? Nope, no, I... What the hell do you do out in Iowa if you're not a farmer? No, I, I tried that. Well, I would help my grandparents for two years out of high school. And... What, did, what did they farm? They had dairy. Oh, okay. And getting up five o'clock every morning and milking cows and wasn't for you getting kicked around and yeah plus all that yeah, wonderful I'd smell i'd get about between 20 and 40 dollars every two weeks wow that was that paying was really good huh you know, i was glad to help grandpa but i figured i can't go the rest of my life doing that the dairy the farmers they time. really they've they've been uh it's been tough for them, the small guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're all set. I'm going to wipe this valve down with the bag. Get some of that. No, I did construction for and plumbing, and then I worked for 15 years at a nursing home. Uh huh. Charging a 100 bed facility. And okay, guys. We have to keep on all that stuff. So I had uh, over a hundred toilets to keep flushing, and Mom. you know the name of that tune. Yeah, busy. All right, let me just run this one more time. Should be on the hot side now. Mowing pot, uh, chateau, cartridge replaced, trim plate and handle replaced, uh, and put a piece of backing in there for them. So they should be good. It's fixed to the wall now and I caulked it. So it should stay where it is. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, thanks for bearing with me with the terrible video footage and uh, all that so thanks guys hey guys i'm all done with that shower repair um i don't know man my gut tells me that that guy pulled that cartridge uh i don't know you let me know what you think i mean uh, there was one side of the 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 big uh gaskets on that cartridge one one of them was totally missing uh i'd never installed one without it so i'm thinking it probably would have been a problem uh without it i don't know but uh yeah it was nowhere to be found so i'm thinking that that cartridge was out and he put it back in um so i don't know man anyways it's all done i got that uh that bar clamp which that's what i used on new construction for stubbing out everything it was easier than cutting backing and um it just made made things quicker they are a little more expensive than cutting a piece of two by four but it just kept us moving you know they're easy to put in your tool bag um <clears throat> you don't need long screws and uh, just worked well, so I've always used them. I keep I keep a half a dozen of them on my truck for if, if I go to uh, you know put a shower valve in or whatever. Uh, it's just easier than searching around for a two by four. And the trim, that's an old style mowing chateau rough body with the two screws on the bottom, um, and it's a 1225B cartridge, uh, but. 
I put a new trim plate on. I think it's a 471, maybe, T471. And I buy the whole trim pack with the shower, head arm and flange, and a slip fit tub spout. It just works better for me. Um, I, I always need those tub spouts, and I always uh, can use a head arm and flange with a shower, nice shower head. So that's what I do. All I used on that was the handle and the, and the face plate. But they should be good and uh it's a good customer of mine i've done a lot of stuff for this guy probably uh three videos now have been done on this house uh main shut off valve the laundry tub from hell and now this uh this valve in the shower um but i did notice that they're using uh paper top i mean uh toilet paper that is like uh like paper towel man and i showed the guy I said, listen, man, you got a brand new toilet here. It's 1.6 or 1.28 gallons per flush. You got 60 year old cast iron, four inch pipe, which means the water level in that pipe is not very high when you flush. If it were three inch, the water would be higher and you'd have a better shot at floating the waste out. Uh, but with a four inch pipe and only a 1.2 or in, uh, 1.3 gallons of water and the toilet paper they use doesn't break down I filled up the bowl in the lavatory and, and took a, a normal wipe you know what you would use for a wipe and I threw it in there and we waited like five minutes and I picked the whole thing up with two fingers and I said this stuff does not break down and he's responsible if uh, that place stops up unless it's you know like a cracked pipe or something uh, so I told them they really need to get some Scott tissue a uh, thousand sheets per roll and if you do that uh, like do a side-by-side -side comparison you'd see that the Scott tissue just dissolves immediately no matter how much you put in it it's single ply and this uh, you know they just need to toughen up you know I know this the Scott tissue is like a hundred grit or something 400 grit but it's got to be a you gotta toughen your ass up is all I'm saying or you're gonna be paying a lot for them flushes man damn going to the bathroom it costs you a lot more than a dime these days if you're using the wrong toilet paper is what I'm getting at someday I'll do that side-by-side -side comparison and show you because what's happening is they flush that paper and it gets about 10 12 feet away from the uh, the toilet and then it sits there all day until they use the toilet again. And if there's a woman in the house who's using that toilet, um, you know, she's using that toilet paper every time she goes to the bathroom, uh, peeing or pooping. And um, it's just going to stop up. So that's it. That's my uh, sharing my infinite uh, knowledge with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm going to try to shorten them up this year. The, um, you know, feature film length is going to have to be go by the wayside. And I'm going to learn how to uh, do a little editing. And um, I'm going to be kind to myself. So that's it, guys. Have a great day. Happy New Year to all of you. And uh, take care of yourself, man. Be nice to yourself. That's what I say.